What's going on everyone? It's your boy Zave back at it again. Today people today, I'm going to talk about some things that I am looking forward to with MeTV Tunes. First and foremost, I want to thank every single one of you for enjoying my content as of recently. I very much appreciate that. Also, I will say this will be my last video covering anything MeTV Tunes for now. I feel like I've been kind of overdoing some of the MeTV Tunes videos and I'm also kind of running out of some things to talk about with it. However, with that being said, I will be making more cartoon oriented content in the coming days. So without further ado, let's talk about some of the things I am looking forward to with MeTV Tunes. So before we start off this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to my radio page. I am the owner of this page. It is called Vibe Tunes Radio. It is just basically online radio, all sorts of genres of music. As you can see here from the schedule, we have a bunch of live DJs. And of course, when there's DJs on air, you can always come in and join the chat room right here. And uh, overall, I think you should check this out, man. I think you should check this page out. I'll put a link in the description down below. It's not a surprise that half of what made Boomerang so iconic was the bumper cinematics. With that being said, I believe MeTV Tunes will try to replicate those as best as they possibly could. With Bob Bergen being the channel announcer, I can only imagine how good they can possibly get. For me, I think I'm just a weird dude honestly, but I really do enjoy every single TV station's bumpers. I personally feel the bumper cinematics is what makes the channel really glow and stand out from other channels. So with that being said, I am really looking forward to MeTV Tunes bumpers. <laughs> It is no surprise here that MeTV Tunes has got their hands on quite a few cartoons. I believe they have over 40 different cartoons, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. So I'm looking forward to a change of schedule quite often. I feel like if they keep their launch schedule up for too long and don't rotate it, it will eventually go stale as does everything else. However, I'm sure MeTV Tunes knows that as well. As mentioned in my last video, they have so many different cartoons that are missing, which in my opinion opens up the doorway for all different types of schedule changes to be made. Keep it fresh and keep it up to date as much as possible. Having such a diverse group of shows, as mentioned before, is so good for the network. Granted, I obviously did not grow up during the times of these cartoons' original launches. However, I can tell you for a fact my parents did. With that being said, there is so much appeal to so many different generations in this network. Some of these shows have not been heard in dog ages, such as Wait Till Your Father Gets Home, The Misadventures of Ed Grimbley, Mask the Animated Series, and much, much more. I also think right now is the perfect time for me to admit that I made a bit of an error in one of my recent videos. In my first video covering MeTV Tunes, I reviewed the schedule for the channel. I covered mostly every single base except all of the overnight stuff. I will be putting a link down in the description for the schedule for those who are unaware of the overnight schedule. But with that being said, so many long forgotten about cartoons makes me very happy to see, as I believe if these cartoons go unnoticed for too too long, they will become some type of lost media or something in the near future. <music> MeTV Tunes being over the air is what excites me the most to be completely honest with you. This channel is completely accessible for the low low cost of zero dollars. Well. It kind of essentially is. I feel like right now is a good time to talk about digital antennas. Digital antennas is the ultimate way to get this channel. As far as cable companies carrying this network, it honestly really just depends on the cable company. I would definitely suggest calling up or trying to get in contact with your cable company to see if they will be carrying MeTV Tunes. However, I will show this little graphic showcasing every area where MeTV Tunes is located. Make sure to click the link in the description to find out if your area will be carrying MeTV Tunes. Now, I'm not here to lie or anything. I had no idea up until last week digital antennas existed or how they work. I guess the Gen Z in me is really starting to showcase hard. However, but what I did do is a load of research for these antennas considering the fact that my family completely switched over to streaming applications about two years ago. 
So consider this part of the video a bit of a teacher's lesson if you will. So first and foremost for digital antennas you want to make sure to check how many miles your nearest MeTV broadcasting system is away from you. Once again, I will have a link in the description down below showcasing all of the different channels that you can get off of a digital antenna and seeing how many miles it is away from you. Once you determine how many miles MeTV is away from you, you go pick up a digital antenna that can reach that mile radius. Once you get your antenna, you have to plug it into your TV of course with a coaxial cable and scan the channels on your TV through your TV settings. I will say everybody's TV is different so if you go and you look up something on YouTube and you're not exactly finding the right information, I think it's just better off to kind of just look up your TV brand and model and to see how to get the channels to scan. After scanning the channels, hopefully you got the MeTV Tunes channel on there come June 25th. But if you don't, I will just give one big notice with a digital antenna. I think it is the smartest thing to kind of point it as close as you could to the broadcasting station. I myself will be picking up a digital antenna of my own soon for this channel alone. At the current moment, there is no 100% confirmation that any streaming platforms will be holding MeTV Tunes at launch. Now with that being said, those are the things I'm looking forward to the most with me TV Tunes. Let me know down in the comments below some of the things you are looking forward to with me TV Tunes, and I will catch you in the next video.